Now, one of the fastest growing parts of the Northeast economy is the creative industries. From music and design to fashion and video game production, the sector sustains hundreds, if not thousands, of jobs. Now, the Chancellor recognised this with tax relief for regional theatres in his budget, but could we be doing more? Well, some believe the Northeast needs to follow the example of Yorkshire, where a screen commission backed by European money is used to attract film and TV productions. I've been to find out more. Chopwell Woods in Gateshead, and there's drama. Actually, it's award-winning BBC children's drama, Wolf Blood. Now shooting its third series, entirely in the northeast. But in all honesty, it's one of the few major TV series based here. And those in the industry believe that's a big miss. Undoubtedly, um, television production brings money, uh, you know, and whether it's, whether it's actually, from our point of view, employing local crews um, to, you know, hotels, to locations. So, you know, what, what we're missing out is that the area has not been represented both on screen and we're not getting the financial benefit of having that production work in the region. So why are we not seeing more filming across our region? Well, money may be the key. While Scotland and other English regions have film commissions which can offer grants of up to half a million to luring crews, the North East equivalent, Northern Film and Media, can offer at most £3,000. In Scotland they've got £5 million production fund, Yorkshire have a £7.5 million fund that's just recently been doubled to £15 million. In the North West there's a £15 million creative industries fund. So we are literally surrounded by regions that can entice film and TV projects uh, with financial investment and we can't at the moment. A bid though is now being put in to persuade the local enterprise partnership to set aside European money for the North East's own multi-million pound production fund. If successful, it could be good news here. Sunderland University has a thriving media and film faculty, but at the moment opportunities for its students to stay in the region are limited. The chances are pretty much all of them, or certainly a, uh, a big majority of them, will end up having to leave the North East in order to get work. So it would be um, a missed opportunity, I think, not to try and um, uh, support the industry in this region so that those graduates and graduates from other universities um, aren't forced out of the North East. And there is evidence of what a fund could deliver. A one-off two and a half million pounds set aside in 2010 brought eight productions to the North East before the money ran out. But some say any new fund must be carefully managed to ensure its local talent and the benefits, and not just big companies, from outside the region. The way that we need to, to move forward with the fund is that, yes, you can have the money, but there has to be a commitment both to use them in production and to have a base. I mean, I think one of the issues that I've got with the fund that we had was that sort of, um, and I don't know if you know, the term is carpet bagging. So basically what the guys did, you know, they, they moved a production here, they made the most of it, and they disappeared. And there's no legacy. There's nothing, you know. And in some cases, some of those bigger productions didn't even employ local talent. This week, The Dumping Ground, another children's programme shot in the North East, won a Royal Television Society award. But when it comes to film and television, while the North East can boast quality, quantity remains a problem. Uh, Roberta Blackmore said, I mean, Durham's trying to sell itself as a place for film crews to come. It's a fantastic location, of course. But does it need the extra help of this fund? Oh, it absolutely does. And I think it's a great pity that, uh, again, one of the problems with doing away with the RDA was that we lost the institute in Seam in County Durham that was going to be set up, which would have really promoted local talent. So it was Hollywood it on Weir, was it, or something it, like that? It, yeah, and it was, it was going to um, really sell, continue to sell the region as a centre for... Um, culture and, and really invest in our young people and creative industries and so I want to really back this uh, bid to the let because I think we've lost about four years in trying to set up some sort of um, specific institute or commission for the North East because as you can see we are having to compete okay. against other um, regions and we need something that will really focus on nurturing talent here. Uh, ben Housh, is this something you can support? I mean, the region, there was a regional growth fund bid for this, actually, which was turned down in actual fact. So we're missing out again to Yorkshire, Scotland and, and in London in some cases as well. I think you're right. I think to give parity, there's, there's, there's no reason why we shouldn't have uh, this type of commission in the North East. The two concerns I have, I think one was, was raised in the video, that people coming in, parachuting in, using the resources, not using local talent and then leaving again. The other it's one, the free market, isn't it? Well, it is, if you're going to have a local commission for the North East and it's investment from the North East, it should be for the North East. The other issue that I have is that 
any commission for the North East needs to be very careful in the way that it funds itself. The issue with the RDA generally, for instance, was that it was very Newcastle centric and other regions lost out, which is why it was, re which was, why it was replaced by the LEPs. Now it's important that any commission that's set up is very aware that it doesn't become okay. too Newcastle centric. Okay, I know Roberta dis disagrees with you on the, uh, the regional CM development agency. is not in Newcastle. Uh, that, that is certainly true. Uh, now, there's some more. It's neither in Teesside either. But, uh, and there's more on filmmaking, all the lack of it, in the North East on my blog. That's at bbc.co.uk slash Richard Moss.